Kenya, as you know, has been developing very, very fast. And this is because we want to modernize our ways of life in health, in education, in industry, in many sectors. All those rely on water. My name is Wanja Nyingi and I'm an ichthyologist, that's a fish biologist here in Kenya. My specialty is freshwater fish. Now, as I've been working on this area for a long time, I realized I'm only doing one thing. That's just one layer of biodiversity. I wanted to know what is the bigger picture. And we formed a group called the Kenya Wetlands Biodiversity Research Team, KenWeb. That's a multidisciplinary team. We work with sociologists, we work with anthropologists, biologists and different people to try and figure out what's going on in wetlands. What are the problems? How can they be solved? And who do we need to work with? Well, working as a scientist can be very satisfactory to discover new things. But if you're not impacting change on the ground that leads to conservation, then it's very, very frustrating. And for me, it was becoming increasingly frustrating to discover all these things about fish and about the environment and not being able to impact change. As you know, many of our scientists, we publish. We publish in journals, in peer review, and we also talk about our work in conferences and workshops. We talk to each other, but we were not talking to people. We're not talking to the people who can change the way things are happening on the ground. For me to make an impact, I realized that I have to stop talking to scientists alone and expressing what I've learned and how this will change everything we know about these fish or this environment. I have to talk to communities. We always talk about the bottom-up approach in conservation. And the idea that people are thinking is that communities are actually driving the change from the bottom to the top. But it's not working in so many cases because most people are actually coming in and telling the communities, this is what I think you should do. And this is how I think you should do it. Do you agree? And if they say yes, then people tick the box and say, yeah, that was bottom up. We shouldn't come up with models of citizen science where communities cannot bring in their knowledge because communities have knowledge. They have a lot of knowledge that we call indigenous and local knowledge. So citizen science needs to really be critically looked at in terms of how we apply it. So in my work, I've worked a lot with communities because I really, really want to see the bottom-up approach applied. Because as we know, local communities rely directly on biodiversity for their livelihoods. So as scientists, I think the primary thing we need to do is provide them information about what's changing and why and together with them form solutions. Because they know, they know what they need to stop. They know what they need to do. So working together is always the best step. From the beginning, we discovered that in places where communities feel ownership, where they understand their wetlands, where they understand their rivers, they'll take care of it. Because conservation is by the people. <laughs>